Hello and welcome to video number four. We're going to talk about where do they hang out. Now you had a brief idea by looking at the page likes, but what we want to do is we want to dig further and take a look at how people are engaging with different pages that are similar affinities. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to these pages. We're going to review the content, the images, what people are reacting to and how they are commenting. All right. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay. So we're back to the Facebook audience insights. And what you want to do is simply go back to the page likes page. And what we want to do is look at the top categories. Now, what Facebook has done here is it gives you an idea of all the things that the audience is interested in. So for example, what media or news company do they listen to or look at? What are they interested in, in terms of publishers? It says boutique stores. What do they go to in terms of shopping? What do they eat? What do they drink? What education websites do they go to, to learn something about knitting? Maybe where do they go for games and toys? What websites do they visit? So now these may not necessarily be related to knitting, but it will give us an idea of where they go to hang out. So we can see that these people like recipes. So we see recipes. We see that they like to save money in terms of coupons. Crockpot Girl is a website for someone who's interested in quick, simple, easy meals with a crock pot. And Scary Mommy is a blog for mothers. So this gives us an idea of the different categories that they're interested in. So what I would recommend that you go ahead and do is simply open up a few of these that stand out to you and go to those pages. Okay. So we clicked on the spruce, which is a Facebook fan page, and we can see that it has a website, but it also has a bunch of images and videos and content that we can take a look at. So what I would recommend that you do is take a look at the images that stand out. So we can see gardening. We can see some videos. So we can see that the spruce, there's a lot of things about animals. There's a lot of things about uh, different types of recipes. So what you're looking for is patterns essentially in the form of images. So when you create your content, you could create content with images like this. And it doesn't necessarily have to be related to knitting. What we're simply trying to do is engage the audience. So if you were to have a Facebook fan page about knitting, you could simply also have images of dogs, images of gardening or recipes and other things simply to engage your audience because it's what they're interested in. So if we continue to scroll down, we can click on photos or videos. I like to click on photos so we can see quotes, lots of quotes. And that's one of the pieces of content that we will be creating later down the road. So we're just simply scrolling through and taking a look at the images and we can see there are tons and tons and tons and tons of images with quotes. And most of these are simply blue background with words on top. Now you can improve this and make it better. So by going through the images, this allows you to get some ideas on different images with words that you can create as well. Now, what we want to do now is take a look at perhaps the images that are getting a lot of engagement. So for example, 
We can see this one here has about 45 likes, 388 comments. And as we're going through, what I notice is that the ones with the blue backgrounds, for the most part, actually have a lot more engagement. And that's interesting. So let's go to another page. So this one's called Parents. So this gives us an idea that the people that we're targeting, we, we saw that earlier, it was 88% women. Maybe many of them are mothers. So we want to go down and click on photos again. And we want to scroll down further. We can see a lot of images with quotes. That's great. And if you find an image that is getting a lot of likes and comments, you can look at them and maybe not necessarily plagiarize or copy, but find a really good image that fits this and perhaps rewrite the quote. So what we're doing here is we're not necessarily copying, but we're finding what works and simply creating the content based upon that. So what you want to do is you want to go through all of these different pages and do what we are doing right now. Jot things down on notepad or paper and get an idea of what different images you want to use. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.